Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Sony Vegas map transition tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a really simple weapon transition like the one you see on the screen now. Now, as you can see, it's just pretty much where the gun starts coming up before the clip that the gun is actually in. And this effect is really simple to do, and it should be a fairly simple and short tutorial. Okay, so as you can see on the screen now, I've got what is called a green map. Now, you can see I'm just pulling out my M4 and it's got a perfectly green background. Now, what a green map is, is it acts like a green screen, which allows you to pretty much just key out the single tone green and leave you with a perfect result. Now, I'm going to be using Counter-Strike Souls for this tutorial since that is the only game I edit, but I'm sure there are green maps developed for other games. So let's jump right into it. You can see I've got three clips imported here. The first one is just the camera flying over this map here that you can see. The second one is me pulling out my M4 on the green map. And the final clip is the final M4 clip, which will be after the transition. So you'll need them in this order. First will be the clip before the transition, and then you'll need your green map, and then the one after the transition. Now what we can go ahead and do is right click and go insert video track, and grab our green map footage and drag that up to that next layer. Now we can slide it across, and we pretty much want the M4 to be fully out before this clip will start. So if we drag this one across now and just do a simple crossfade like that, we want this M4 to be fully out before that crossfade starts. So that's looking pretty good like that. And we'll just quickly trim this clip so the USP isn't in it. Now quickly before I go any further, you can see I've made two big mistakes. The first one, if we change this to full, you can see I recorded this clip with motion blur. Now I definitely recommend not recording your green map footage with motion blur if you can avoid it, because that way it's a lot harder for the program to figure out where the actual green is if it's got other colors blurring over it. So definitely disable motion blur for this single clip if you can. And the other mistake is you can see that the silencer is on in this footage here. And then if we have a look at the after footage, the silencer isn't there. And that's mainly because I really wasn't paying attention to what I was recording. And it's just a stupid mistake I made and, you know, don't do anything stupid like that. Okay, so now that we've got our layers positioned like this, what we can do is go over to our effects panel in Sony Vegas and look for the chroma key one here. Now I'm fairly sure this is only in the Sony Vegas Pro series and not in the other versions. Uh, so if you don't have it, then yeah. Okay, so what we need to do now is drag this green screen one on to our green map footage and you can see it just removes the green like that. Now if you're after a really clean result, I definitely recommend using Adobe After Effects and using some alternate plugins such as Keylight. And this way it'll give you a much cleaner result. So if we quickly change this to best now, you can see what I'm talking about, how the green is kind of still there in some parts. However, since this gun is coming out so fast, it really shouldn't be that noticeable. So I'm not going to worry about trying to fix it. Okay, so now if we have a look at this frame by frame, you can see the gun will start coming out on this clip here. And then once we get to here, the crossfade will start and the gun will still be there. Now we can just fade this one out to help it make a nice smooth transition. And that is pretty much all there is to this effect. You don't have to do it at the end like that. You can do it halfway through the gun coming out here if you want. Uh, you can get creative. I'm just showing you the techniques behind this. So there we go. That is the end of this tutorial. I hope it helped. If it did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button to help my channel out. And you can subscribe for future tutorials. You can also check out my previous two map transition tutorials. And in my next video, I will be doing probably my most requested tutorial. And that is the player bars from my old movie, Infusion 2. So if you're looking forward to that, be sure to subscribe. And I'll put the link here when it's uploaded. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.